Hello, welcome to another Universe Sandbox video. Today my goal is to make a geocentric solar system, and there are a number of plans I have to accomplish this, so let's get started. First, I'm going to make a new simulation, and this will create an empty canvas for me. If you don't know, a geocentric solar system model is where Earth is actually at the center, not the Sun, and all the planets and the Sun included all orbit around Earth. So I'm going to place Earth right here. For this, I'm going to be placing the object smallest to largest, and this is for mainly orbital purposes, so if I place an object that is actually smaller than the object I placed before it, I don't want the game to automatically make it orbit that object, I want them all to orbit Earth by default. I mean, I know they're obviously not going to do that, but hey, it's worth a shot. First, I'm going to place the moon, which is around 0.0025 astronomical units away from Earth. If you don't know, astronomical units are the distance from Earth to the Sun. And for this, I'm going to put the Sun at 1 AU, just so we can serve as a replacement for Earth. Next, I'm going to place Mercury, which in our universe is 0.39 astronomical units away from the Sun, so I'm going to have to measure that. That would place it around here. Next up is Mars, which is 1.52 astronomical units away from the Sun, or I guess Earth here, and so it would go here. Next up is Venus, which is 0.72 astronomical units away. It goes here. Next, I'm going to place Saturn, which is 9.54 astronomical units away, and since Saturn is larger than Earth, obviously it can't orbit around it, which this is where problems start to arise. It goes here. Next up is Jupiter, which as you know is even bigger. Jupiter is 5.2 astronomical units away, so it is going to go around here. And finally the Sun, which this is where things are going to start to absolutely screw up. And as I said before, I'm going to place it at 1 AU, which is where Earth is in our universe. And there you go. The geocentric solar system is laid out. In case you're wondering, I'm not going to put Uranus and Neptune in here, seeing as the geocentric solar system model was like created before Uranus and Neptune were discovered, so it wasn't in the original drawings of it. So yeah, here we go, this is it. I have the trails view on, so when I press play, we're going to see the direction in which the planets are going, and uh, yeah, let's see how long this survives. Ooh, obviously since the time is going one hour per second, I'm going to have to speed it up in order to see anything happening. And yeah, as we can already see, stuff is going terribly, everything is going towards the sun. Oh jeez, Earth has been swallowed. And uh, yeah, Mercury isn't looking like it's gonna do well either. Yeah, there it goes, and Venus. And Mars is looking like it's not gonna have a fun trip either. Jupiter and Saturn are gradually drifting towards it, and there goes Mars. And uh, yeah, these are the only things left. Let me speed up time and see how they survive. Oh, Jupiter has reflected away from the Sun, being pushed by its gravity. So now it's just going off in the middle of nowhere, and Saturn has been consumed. And yeah, this is all that's left of our geocentric solar system. We got the sun just slowly floating away, and Jupiter just shooting out into the middle of nowhere. And everything else has been devoured. This is why the geocentric solar system model is very inaccurate. Since the sun has more mass, it has more gravity than Earth, and yeah, therefore, obviously Earth can't sustain an entire solar system on its own. So, uh, yeah. This did not last long. It's only been 35 years, and yeah, the solar system is... Well, not even a solar system anymore, it's just like two objects floating in the middle of nowhere. If you check the orbits map mode, uh, yeah, it's like, there aren't any orbits, it's just like, well there's this from the time that Jupiter sort of went around the sun and then shot out with its gravity, and uh, yeah, so overall, this was another failure, the surprise of literally no one. So here's my next plan, I'm gonna take the solar system as is now with everything in place, well actually this particular save file doesn't have all the moons and whatnot, but you know, good enough, and I'm just gonna replace the sun with Earth, and Earth with the sun. And how you can do that is, if I double click on the sun and go to its information, you see there's this replace object button here, which when I click on it, it gives me a whole host of objects I can replace it with. And if I just choose Earth, bam, now the Earth is in the center of the solar system. And I can do the same thing with Earth too. And go, and uh, yeah, geocentric solar system model number two. Let's see how long this survives. And when I press play, well, obviously nothing's gonna happen, so this is going too slow. So if I speed it up a little, and uh... Yeah, as you can already see, uh, Mercury and Venus are drifting away from their standard orbits, and also Mars is looking like it's bending a little bit. If I continue, Venus has been swallowed by the Sun. And uh, yeah, Mercury's now just going in a straight line, Mars is clearly diverting away, and yeah, Earth is now being pulled. If you look into the outer solar system, nothing really is going on. Mars is really drifting away, and it's looking like it might be engulfed by the Sun sometime soon. Or actually, maybe not, maybe it actually might form an orbit around there. Actually, yeah, many objects seem to be avoiding the Sun now. Earth has now drifted away from its spot in the center, and Mercury is now entering the outer solar system, as is Mars. Still, nothing major has happened with the gas giants. These are some 
weird trails we got going on here. Sirius is now being pulled away. And uh, yeah, the sun just seems to be floating in a straight line with everything else just trying to follow it. Kind of forming a little parade of objects here. Let's see if I speed up time if anything interesting happens. So Jupiter's drifting away from its orbit. Saturn seems like it's bending a little bit. And yeah, everything sort of just seems like it's now following the sun. It's not really engulfing anything. They're just forming uh, weird, straight, elliptical orbits around it. I don't know how to describe this. This is just abnormal. Okay, do I dare check the orbits view mode? It's obviously going to be a mess, but, uh, you know, it's worth a shot. Okay, well, let's just take a second to admire Saturn's orbit, which, uh, yeah, I don't know really, I don't really know what to describe this with. Earth actually has a relatively normal orbit, it's just a circle, and, uh, yeah, everything else is just elliptical. Mars is a pretty abnormal orbit, uh, Jupiter's forming an egg here, and, uh, yeah, the solar system is kind of falling apart now. Go back to the trails map mode, and, uh, yeah, let's see how this continues. Oh, okay, Earth just took a weirdly sharp turn here, probably because, you know, it's trying to follow its normal orbit, but now the sun's moved and it's trying to recalibrate itself. And, uh, yeah, reminder, man, all this stuff is happening, it's still only 2015. Which, you're thinking, wait a minute, this, this 2015 is years ago, why are we back then? Well, the thing is, this save file starts in the year 2014, so I think that's when, you know, it was made. Yeah, okay, so yeah, the new Universe Sandbox, the one I'm playing, not the original one, this is from 2014, so yeah, it would make sense. And, uh, yeah, Saturn's now diverting, Jupiter's going in a straight line, uh, Mercury's just off in the middle of nowhere, and, uh, Uranus and Neptune seem to be unaffected right now, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how that changes. So, uh, yeah, these objects are making some weird maneuvers, and, uh, oh, it's doing one of those weirdly sharp turns, oh, yeah, yeah, there it goes. Actually, let's check in on her, see what the planet's like. So, uh, it doesn't look like anything's changed surface-wise. Let's check the temperature. Yeah, everything seems to be the same. Although, uh-oh. It's not exactly Earth. This changes everything. Like, I don't even know what I'd like. What? Wow. 99.9% .9 Earth similarity? This, like, I can't even recognize this. Like, what? Wow. Okay, that was weird, but, um... So it's safe to say that this model failed, too, because, you know... It's a geocentric solar system, what are you going to expect? Again, this is impossible. So let's just admire now Mars and Earth doing weird funky turns around the sun, practicing their planetary acrobatics. Oh, here we go. Looks like Uranus is now diverting away, yep, there it goes, off in a straight line, seeing as the sun is now further away and therefore cannot capture Uranus at the same level it did before. Uh, yeah, it's not going askew. Let's see what Neptune's up to. Yeah, now it's entering a straight line too, as is Pluto. I keep forgetting, I should probably center the camera around Earth, because, you know, it's geocentric. Well, yeah, it's safe to say that that plan failed too, as I would expect. Alright, so yeah, it does start in 2014. Alright, so, plan C. Once again, I'm going to replace the sun with Earth, and Earth is the sun, so let me just quickly do that. But this time, my plan is different. What I actually plan to do is, I'm going to turn Earth into a star, and the sun into a rocky planet, and see if that can actually make the solar system survive. First, I'm going to turn Earth into a star, which all I really need to do is give the mass of the sun. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know, I don't, I don't, yeah, the game is uh, having trouble coping with this immediately, so let's just let a little time pass by. And yeah, bam, it's a star. The only problem is it's super cold, so I'm gonna have to turn that up. And uh, yeah, there we go, the surface temperature is now 5,000 Kelvin, its luminosity is four times that of the sun in our universe, so uh, yeah, Earth is now officially a star. Now for the sun, we're gonna want to turn it from a star into a rocky planet, so we're gonna essentially do the opposite, we're gonna make its mass smaller. And, uh, once again, I'm just gonna make the same as Earth. Obviously, a star can't really survive at this state when it's, you know, as small as Earth. Well, actually, no, its radius is the same as Jupiter, so... And that's because its density is pretty small, so I'm gonna press play and see if this changes anything. And, uh, yeah, there we go, the sun is now a gas giant. But we don't want the sun to be a gas giant, we want it to be a rocket planet like Earth, so what I'm gonna do is raise its density, maybe not that much, go back to Earth, and uh, yeah, that should turn into a rocky planet. Oh yeah, what I need to do is I'm going to change the composition, and make it the same, well, around the same as Earth, give it a bit of water, and yeah, there we go, the sun is now a rocky planet, actually, looks like it might be some water there, well, yeah, it's added water, but does it actually have a sea level? Oh yeah, what do you know, it does. Hold on, let me check something, what the heck. Alright, the life likelihood is, uh, TA number. Um, I think that might be an error of sorts, so uh, let's see what I can do with that. It's atmosphere. Raise the albedo. I don't know why I'm trying to terraform the sun. This was not in mind, but uh, hey, it's the fun I could do. 
this transportational period back to the day. I'm gonna slow down time. Actually, I probably shouldn't be letting time fly by. So I don't know how it's gonna affect the solar system yet, and I want to see firsthand. Yeah, what is up with the life likelihood here? All right, Earth similarity, 77.5%. That's good. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I really need to do with the sun. Let's see how this affects. Oh. Okay. Well, Venus is shut off in the middle of nowhere. Uh, uh, sun, or I guess. Uh, Mars is sort of getting closer in, and uh, Mercury's orbit is starting to become a little elliptical. Jupiter actually looks like, if you look at this trail here, it's being drawn into- Wait, what, oh wait, no, hold on. It's being drawn into the inner solar system area, like around the asteroid belt, but then it's swooping back out, and uh, Saturn looks like it's gonna drift off to nowhere. Let's see what Uranus is doing. Uranus doesn't look like it's really gonna change at all. Oh wait, no, hold on. See a line here, it's gonna- make a weird curve here, and then I don't really know what it's going to do next after that. Neptune looks like it's going to diverge out here. And Pluto... Yeah, Pluto's going to leave. I think Pluto's pissed off the Earth dethroned it from a planet to a dwarf planet, and now the Earth's in charge, it's so mad it just wants to leave. So, uh, I'm going to press play and uh, see what happens next. Speed things up a little, and uh, Mercury seems like it's orbiting relatively fine. The sun is sort of drifting away, although it's just settling to that orbit I showed earlier. What's up with Venus? Yeah, Venus is just leaving. Like, Venus is just shooting out of here. Earth is actually sort of drifting to the side here. I don't know how big of an effect it's gonna have. Well, obviously it's gonna have a big effect, but to what extent is the planets just gonna f are the planets just gonna follow Earth, or is it totally just gonna leave things out of whack? Mars looks like it's entering the asteroid belt here. Venus has now surpassed Saturn's orbit, which, uh, yeah, it's gone. Actually, let's look at Venus. I wanna see how cold it is now that it's, like, super far away from its home star. Obviously, its atmosphere is still- okay, average temperature 411 degrees Celsius, so yeah, it's not really having as big an effect now, because it's only been a year. If we remove its atmosphere, yeah, we can see nothing's really changed. Well, not remove its atmosphere, but temporarily make it invisible. Let's see what's up with the sun. I wanna see if it's leveled out now. Actually, if I go to these maps that I showed in the previous episode, we can see the other- uh, okay, so yeah, that's why I can really see you. There's no- uh, there's no oceans. It's just this weird patch of brown here, and all the green vegetation- Oh, it's because this is, like, super duper hot. Let's see if it cools off. No. Mercury's actually, uh, keeping a relatively stable orbit. I mean, Earth is drifting away, and Mercury's sort of drifting away with it, so... It doesn't really look like much is changing. Actually, I'm gonna go see the orbit view mode, and, uh... Yeah, Mercury actually has a pretty stable orbit, but, uh, what's this? out here that's big. Oh, that's just a rock. So yeah, Mars and the Sun actually have a stable orbit around Earth, but again, it keeps shifting, as does Jupiter and uh, Saturn. Looks like it's relatively stable here. Uranus's orbit actually closer than Saturn's? That's actually pretty cool. And uh, yeah, now Saturn's orbit is actually overlapping with Neptune's side. So that's actually, like, that's interesting. I wouldn't expect that. I think it just all has to do with the positions of the planet when I made the shift. I think that had a major effect on how the results came out. I'm gonna go back to the trails view and yeah, see how this continues. Speed up time a bit and see if this affects everything. Let's check on Venus, see what it's up to. Yeah, it's now surpassed uh, Uranus and uh, let's watch it surpass Neptune's orbit. Any second now, well, okay, month, but yeah, there it goes. Let's see what the remaining planets get up to here. This is odd. So uh, I'd say this uh, Geometric Solar System model actually worked out kind of alright. I mean, it's kind of cheating because I made Earth a star and the sun a planet, but I mean, you know, it's still geocentric in the context that everything's orbiting Earth. But uh, yeah, I don't really think Earth would be the hub of life on the solar system now. Actually, let's check the sun's uh, life likelihood, see if that's, you know, actually fixed itself or if that weird thing is still persisting. Yep, here we go, TA number, yeah, nothing's really changed. Although, 90% Earth similarity, that can't be bad. Let's check the maps, and uh, Okay, so there's no, like, oceans, but it actually has polar ice caps. And, yeah, temperature sort of leveled out at, like, 40, 50 degrees, so, yeah. It's just, like, I think it's too close to Earth. It's actually farther away from the sun. Or, okay, it's farther... The sun is farther away from Earth than Earth is to the sun in our universe. Yeah, the equilibrium temperature is 125 degrees, so, uh, let's just lower that. And, uh, see how that does it. Oh no, yeah, that's just gonna have to affect the sea level. Hold on. Hold up. That's- it has actually oceans now. And, uh, yeah, okay, there we go. So, uh, okay, okay, so, uh, I terraformed the sun. Actually, better than I terraformed, uh, Mars and Venus in my previous video, so... Uh, yeah, that was unintended. I didn't plan for this to be a terraforming video, but, uh, yeah, there we go. The sun is terraformed. And let's check on the, uh, Earth-Sun star thing. 
And, uh, yeah, it's only warming up. So, uh, yeah, I think the solar system has reached a relatively stable position. I mean, obviously, the stars moving and the planet's orbits are kind of out of whack, but, I mean, uh, nothing's really being devoured or eaten up. Uh, Uranus has gone off in the middle of nowhere. It's diverged far from its orbit, and, uh, Neptune is actually looking like it's heap to it. Saturn is now the farthest planet, which, uh, never thought I'd see the day. And, uh, yeah, Venus is, uh, Venus is just gone. So, uh, yeah, there we go. I've made three geometric solar system models. Uh, this is the only one that actually survived, I would say. Well, okay, I mean, the second model kind of worked out. I mean, even though the sun eventually took over, obviously, because it's a star. Earth and Mars still sort of kept their, like, position looking. Not really, but, you know, they've stayed next to the sun. But this, more planets actually are staying by Earth, sun, star. I don't remember. Okay, okay, I'm not. Earth. They're by Earth. But, uh, yeah, I think this is the, I think this actually went kind of successfully, I mean, the sun is terraformed, I think that's pretty cool. Obviously, yeah, this is kind of cheating, because I made Earth a star, so obviously that wouldn't work out, because, you know, Earth is not a star in our universe. But, uh, yeah, there we go, geocentric solar system model. I think at this point I'm just getting too repetitive, so I'm gonna end the video off here, but actually, it's one final hurrah. Let me just make Earth a little bit more massive, and, uh, yeah, see how that affects everything. Not well, I must say. Now I'm gonna raise it to a hundred times the mass of the sun, and, uh, let's watch everything get devoured. Or actually, yeah, they, they could also shoot off. But, uh, yeah, Uranus is now... Okay, so, yeah, these aren't shooting in the middle of nowhere, they're just getting weirdly long orbits. Raise it a little more. Yeah, there it goes. And, uh, yeah. See if I can draw everything back in. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, now it's a black hole. Yeah, I think I made it made it a little too big, but uh yeah. That's gonna conclude things from here. See you everyone, hope you have a good day. Bye.